Choosing the best spot for your stream depends on the specific needs that you have for your stream. In this video, I'm going to go over my three favorite bots, but there is every bit of maybe 50 to 100 different bots you can add to your stream. If you would like to, go ahead and give this video a like and I will make sure to do some research and figure out the top 10 bots that you can put onto your stream. First one up on the list is Stream Elements. Stream Elements is a very popular among streamers for managing various aspects of their stream, offering tools for overlays, alerts, chat moderations, and more. Here's the pros and cons of Stream Elements. Pros, it is an all-in-one platform. Stream Elements provide a comprehensive a suite of tools, overlays, alerts, tipping, chatbot, a merch store, and so much more goes into this bot. It is all integrated into one platform. This centralization simplifies stream management. It's cloud-based. Being cloud-based means that you don't have to download anything to your PC. This reduces local resources consumptions and ensures your settings and overlays are acceptable on your device. Overlay Manager. The Overlay Manager is highly versatile allowing you to create and manage overlay directly from your web interface. It supports widgets, alerts, and custom graphics, all of which can be adjusted in real time. Stream Element offers highly customizations to your follows, subs, and donations, and so much more. You can personalize these events with custom sounds, animation, and graphics. The integrated loyalty point system rewards viewers for their participation. The tipping system is secure and straightforward. Stream Elements provides a merchandise store where you can sell your own brand of merchandise. The integration with your stream makes it so much easier to promote and manage your store. The real-time activity feed keeps you updated on viewer interaction and alert, allowing for prompt acknowledgement and engagement. Did you also know that Stream Elements is cross-platform support? You can have this on your Twitch and your YouTube, which makes it so much easier for multi-streaming. The cons, it does have a little bit of a learning curve. While the platform has so many features to it, it can be a bit overwhelming to new users. Because it relies so heavy on the cloud, you need to make sure that you have really good internet so you have no issues with it connecting from what's going on in your stream to the actual stream element. Just like any bot, it gets its occasional bugs. While these issues are typically resolved very quickly, they can cause some issues during a live stream. While highly customizable, people that have been around this, people that's been in the stream world for a while will find out that the things that they may want to integrate in with their stream might be a little bit harder because stream elements does not offer the pro side of everything. You may come into some issues with this if you wanted to do multiple things to one setting. Even though it does not make that hard of an impact on your PC, having multiple overlays going off at the same time can bog down your OBS because it uses more resources doing it through the cloud, especially on lower end PC. Support resolve time. Just like every company, whenever you go to put in a ticket for an issue, some companies may only take an hours, sometimes stream elements gets lost in the realm. So it may take anywhere between one day and three days for anybody to see your ticket. The next one on my list is BotRitz. BotRitz is a new bot for streamers. BotRitz came out when Kick first launched. Just like any other bot, it's got its pros and cons. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First pro on the list, it's user friendly. Even if you are a new streamer or a marinated streamer, you are able to navigate through the software. One of my favorite things about this bot is that it is a multi platform support, which means you can link up your TikTok, your YouTube, your Kick, your Twitch, all of them. And there's so many more, by the way, you can link up all of them and be able to manage every single thing simultaneously. Just like any other bots, it does allow you to have custom commands, chat moderations. It's got its loyalty and point system. It's integrated with popular services. It has alerts and notification. This was something I actually really enjoyed about it when I dived into it because I can set up different alerts for different platforms. Platforms. And if somebody was to follow me on YouTube and then follow me on Twitch at the same time, they work so nicely together. You get real live analytics. Now we have some cons. There is some limitation features compared to established bots. There's some potential stability issues. It does have a smaller user community. So finding information on bot rates is a little challenging currently. It does have a bit of a learning curve. It has less comprehensive documentations. It has platform specific integrations. All right, now we're going to 
gonna go ahead and talk about my favorite bot. This is actually the bot that I currently use today and it does a lot of my really fun things that I do, like my overlays and things like that that happens. My favorite thing is Mix It All Bot. It has pros and cons too, don't get me wrong. Even though I love this bot so much, it does have pros and cons. Comprehensive feature sets. It offers so many things to your stream, it's just mwah. Customization features. I was so blown over when I saw how much I can do with this. I can put timers on things, how often they can go off, and it's just the amount of information that I can put into this bot is so crazy. It's also integrated with Discord, Twitch, YouTube, OBS, Streamlabs, Stream Elements. So you can have everything going through one bot. It has a user-friendly interface. The community and supports team is so on top of their game. If you have an issue and you reach out to them, they're trying to fix it right then and there. They constantly are updating their bots to bring in more features and to fix any bugs that may happen. But unfortunately, just like any other bot that comes out here, you have your cons. So let's go ahead and dive into those. It can be a little bit of a learning curve, but there are so many videos out here on YouTube that you are able to find anything you wanna look up. If you have a low-end computer and you use Mix It Up Bot, you may come into some lag with your stream. It is a Windows-only application, so Apple users will not be able to download this. It can come across a little complex for new users. Just like any other bot, it does have its occasional bugs. If there is a certain bot that you want me to break down that we have mentioned in this video, make sure that you leave a comment down below. So I am fully aware of knowing which video y'all are more interested in. Guys, I appreciate you being here. I am Love Kit. I've been streaming for seven years, and if you learned something on this video, you make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me on my socials. I'm everywhere. Guys, if you would like to continue watching these videos, make sure that you go ahead and check out this video right here, where it will go ahead and dive into a little bit more stuff that you need to learn about streaming. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Happy streaming. Bye, guys.